Safe Utility Leaders Alliance Northwest. <coughs> and uh, we've been uh, showing an award-winning movie in several locations, including Town Hall um, last Saturday. Uh, I'll take back your power. Um, so I have a few copies of the movie. Um, and uh, next week at the Seattle City Council, um, on September 15th at 2.30, uh, City Lights is going to make a presentation um, on uh, why smart meters are so great and it's going to save, uh, save carbon from escaping into the atmosphere and, um, and other, other points of uh, their, their uh, presentation. On September 18th, uh, we've been invited by the uh, City Council our group to make a, an hour and a half presentation to them at 11.30 um, about uh, some of what we see are our concerns because, um, you know, there's a lot of issues about this and uh, um, issues of cost, you know, uh, you know we're told that, that uh, the cost, uh, uh, everybody's electricity bill will, will go down and, Power, but actually where they've been going in, people's bills have been going up, um, and um, there's an issue of constitutionally protected privacy, um, you know, Fourth Amendment guarantees people to privacy in their homes, and in California, um, they've already, <coughs> there's already been instances where they've sold this data on the open market to, to people, um, so, uh, and then there's an issue regarding the, um, Security of the, the, the uh, power grid, um, and um, I'm mean, not going to kind of go on and on. It's, it's all in the movie. So, so Jordan, is there a group when you say we is there a group or a website or some place that people can contact or a way to contact you? Yes, um, it is uh, uh, safemeters.org. Yes. Is it there for the news list and the website too? And in fact. Um, you can stream the movie on the website for a couple bucks. It's uh, um, takebackyourpower.net. Can I take some of those Yeah, no, please. So many towns go to country I'll be outside if you want to chat. Or, um, so we, we've had enough time. Oh, well, so there's, you know, does anyone have any more of the electronic cards that you want? Yeah, um, so I, I didn't mention that because it, it's often marginalized and, and uh, you know, you know there was an article in The Stranger that you may have seen that um, basically it, it's a tactic to make us um, uh, look like ten hatted um, nuts. And, and, uh, but, you know, we're all exposed to increasing levels of radio frequency. Um, birds and bees are disappearing in the environment. Um, in Renton, when these went in, um, people noticed right away that, that birds just disappeared the next day. <coughs> Same situation in Europe. Um, okay. Beekeepers. We so. have uh, maybe some questions from the energy that's been added, but we don't have to turn Thank you. Thank you, George. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Does it make crows disappear? <laughs> <laughs>
Park Jubilee is this Saturday from noon to dark, and it's in conjunction with the Beacon Food Forest opening celebration, and it's going to be a great event. I heard the weather's going to be good. Yeah. There's cards up here. I know some people have them, but take more cards because the more cards you can hand out to your friends, it's worth a hundred emails for me. And is there, so, is there a lunch, a, a luncheon, networking luncheon coming up for the rest of the city? Um, I believe we have one scheduled for October, but I don't recall the date. Okay. It's a Wednesday, the third Wednesday in October, so, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Roger has something. I have been the task of making sure that everybody gets signed in. I think it's been around. I've got 43 names. I think there's a few more people here, so if you're not signed in, please do so on the way out. And the, the goal of that is twofold. One, so that we can you know, send you our once a month